Hey, what's up guys? We're back with another Pokemon Stadium Let's Play. In the last episode, we were going to take on Gym Leader Castle. We started off facing off against Brock. Now we are going to take on Misty of the Cerulean Gym. As you might know, Misty is a water Pokemon trainer. So that means we're going to have to use uh, electric Pokemon, grass Pokemon, uh, my mind stopped. I, I don't know what else we're going to use. Uh, like in the last episode, you're probably going to see me like go through all these Pokemon stats and whatnot. You know, boring process, I know. But at least, you know, it isn't necessarily a master team that we're assembling here. It's just basically just to take out this one gym leader. So, let's see. Jolteon, what do you have? You have Thunder. Double kick. Um... I don't like that. Oh, by the way, fun fact. Did you know that Psychic is not only, like, uh, vulnerable against Dark-type Pokemon, but it's also vulnerable against Bug-type? I don't know if that's still a thing in, uh, I don't know if that's still a thing in later generations, but, yeah, in the first generation, Psychic-types were weak against Bug Pokemon, or at least Bug-type moves. So, yeah, it's a bit of a fun fact, and I believe Pin Missile is like one of the only bug-type moves that uh, you can learn in the games. Pin Missile is one of them. I think the other one is uh, Leech Life, I think it is. That could be Grass, I don't know. Alright, I think we're good. So, anyway, like I said, um, I'm not entirely a big fan of like future generation games. I don't think they changed that much, aside from... Maybe Pokemon Y and like just recent well, they might have made a few changes, but even then like some of them just like Some of them in my opinion just like sort of overcomplicate the game a touch. Oh I I'm sorry. I, I forgot to take a look at this guy's Pokemon. He has Squirtle or Toil. Okay, they're all pretty much weak against like electric Pokemon, so I'm just gonna do that. Anyway, like I said, um Here's the first opponent of this gym. Yeah, basically, I was never a huge fan of, like, the future generation Pokemon. Although, like, the first, uh, main Pokemon game I ever played, meaning, like, the first portable Pokemon game I ever played, was indeed, uh, oh, crap. The first Pokemon game I ever played that was, like, part of the main series was, uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Those were the first ones I ever played. I did play Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Snap a ton when I was a kid and I watched the anime. Those were like pretty much the things that got me into the series. It wasn't until very much later that I got my hands on Pokemon Yellow, Blue, and uh, just recently Red because I wanted to complete my Pokemon Blue Pokedex. But um... Yeah, <laughs> he sends out Magikarp against my Zapdos. Prepare to get annihilated, son. Anyway, I was never really a huge fan of the future generations, although people could tell me off otherwise. If you're gonna tell me off about, like, how, you know, a true Pokemon fan loves each generation no matter what, uh, go ahead, feel, feel free to do so, because I totally understand if you, like, dislike me for that reason only. But... You know, I'm always a Generation 1 fan, even though I didn't traditionally grow up with Pokemon the way that many other kids did. I mean, I was born in 95, and, you know, I didn't get my first Game Boy system until Pokemon, uh, or until, like, a Game Boy Advance. So, yeah, basically the Pokemon game that was out on Pokemon Advance was indeed, uh... Ruby and Sapphire. I eventually got Fire Red and Leaf Green later on, which I guess is like a lot closer to, you know, you know what I grew up with as far as Pokemon Stadium goes. Although, like, I basically gave those two to my cousin, and I totally regret that to this very day. Ugh, my Zapdos is just missing here. But anyway, I am a total Generation 1 fan, and if you follow me on Vine, you definitely know I completed my Pokemon Blue Pokedex. And that's probably the nerdiest achievement I have ever achieved. 
And I believe that was one of the hashtags that I made on that vine. TKO! Even though that my Zatos was pretty much sucking as far as accuracy goes. Some of the things I didn't like about the future generation games are the berries. Like, I don't know, I didn't really find that much of a point to adding berries, to be honest. Planning them? Just why? Alright, what we got? We got one flying type. One psych- okay, so it's actually pretty diverse here. One is vulnerable again. Oh, oh man. Oh, this is this is probably gonna take me a little bit. This is probably gonna be a bit of a challenge here. Not surprising, seeing as though it is a junior trainer. Usually, junior trainers are usually the most diverse. Um, usually, like junior trainers have the most diverse set of Pokemon. So, this isn't surprising coming from like the games, the main games. Uh, when you have a diverse set like this in Pokemon Stadium, it does make you think a while. And it just makes you like stare at the screen for quite a bit here. I'm just trying to figure out what I can do here. Uh, oh boy. Uh, Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to send out Jolteon. Because, wait, what does Jolteon have? Oh boy, um, I don't know, this... Alright, what else? This Jolteon... I guess... Starmie? Well, I don't know. I have no idea to be honest. Mm. Oh boy, oh. Yeah, Raichu and... Hmm. Ha huh, huh. Magneton. I'm just pretty much gonna go electric on this round. Although there's that possibility that Diglett might come into the mix. Uh I don't think it should be that big. Oh, oh let me reselect here. There's Jolteon who has See how much I overthink about this? Because it could be anything really. Uh, Alright, Jolteon, Raichu, and Weepin' Bell. Bell, Bell, Weepin' Bell. Trial of the gym second opponent to duck battle. We'll need a strong effort to win. Alright, we're, uh, I think we have this in the back here. Like I said, this game does get extremely, extremely hard later on. Except for like these few early, like these, yeah, these few early uh, gyms. Seems like an even match here, right? Oh wait, do I have? Yes, pin missile. Even though it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, it's still super effective. But let's see how this turns out. Oh, mother! Uh, what does that do again? What does that do? No, I'm serious. What does that do? I don't think I've seen anywhere in the Pokemon games where Kadabra or Alakazam use that move. Oh, wow! <laughs> I didn't think that would take him out in one hit. It really is super effective. You see that? Bug types are good against psychic types. I have it on camera. It's proof. There's the proof. Electric type versus electric type. Ah, whatever. I'm going to kick him in the face. Take that. It wasn't necessarily a kick as far as like a tackle. Oh, wow. That sucked. Oh, Voltorb, no! No! Put your clothes on! No, he just used big old flashlight, I guess. How does that even work? How does a Pokemon flash you if, like... I don't know. Ah. 
Stop flashing me! Okay, if it doesn't hit, I'm definitely gonna switch out here. What does Jolteon do? Dude, this Voltorb is such a punk, he keeps flashing me. Voltorb, I'm not that into you, really. Just please, can, can, we, can we be friends? I, I, I just want to be friends. It, it's, it, it's, it's, it's you. That's the problem. Not me. Stop flashing me! This is getting annoying. Good thing I poisoned him because I'm I'm at least making some progress. Uh, yeah, use acid. <laughs> Full twerp on acid. Talk about electric Pokemon being on acid. Am I right? Am I right? All you Ego Raptor fans out there, if you don't know what I'm talking about, have you ever heard of the video called Pikachu on acid? It's it's uh. Pretty interesting, uh, to say the least. I love how a lot of the animations on YouTube. Ow! I always kind of wondered what kind of like. Whatever, make your musical reference here because I'm trying to figure out like what kind of musical artist makes a screech like that. I wouldn't necessarily say Adele. Let me think. Uh, um, I I have no idea. Oh, Susan Boyles, maybe. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got Goldine. We got Poliwhirl, which are both water types. Oh, and uh, I don't know. So those three are weak against grass types. We also have Mankey, Meow. Okay, so another sort of diverse team. Um, yeah, let me send out Weeping Bell. We have... Let's have Raichu as backup. And then... Hmm. Huh. Mm. Yeah, why not? Jolteon. So, let's do this. Where are we running at? 18 minutes? Not bad. Yeah, the first video was just mainly about introductions, so that's why it was like so long. Razor Leaf. Mighty Moly from the Word Go. Yeah, there's a reason why you're extinct, bitch. Yo, I got some acid. What up, bitch? Breaking Bad reference. I need to get into that show. Uh, there's a lot of shows I need to get into. I recently was watching The Walking Dead. And I have to say, after watching it for a while, I was... Exhausted and tired of it. Uh, yeah, I basically stopped at season three. No, I was like beginning season four. So yeah, I finished like three seasons. So, yeah, I just basically got tired of the show because one, it was too tense. Uh, one, it was too tense. Two, the characters were. Uh, getting annoying after a while, so I didn't care for them as much. Three, it's not necessarily about the zombie environment anymore, more or less it's about the character drama. And I'm sort of fine with, like, you know, having some tension uh, between characters, but man, it really does play out the drama. And I wasn't even paying attention there, and my weeping bell perished. I probably needed him for, um, uh, oh, whatever. So not right, you. I, I, I'm pretty sure we 
It's not a huge loss. The Pokemon are entirely Mega different kick. types. So yeah, um, Walking Dead is a series that I wanted to get into for a while, and I'm sort of regretting that I got into it. Because I was binge watching it, and you know, ever since I just didn't want to go back to it because, like I said, it's just so exhausting. But hey, why am I talking about The Walking Dead in a Pokemon Let's Play? I don't even know where I got that conversation from, to be honest. Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter now. I'm about to beat this trainer, then it's on a mystery. And boom. And there goes the battle! Boom, 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 boom. Alright, now it's Misty afterwards. Oh, wow. <laughs> um. Except for Blastoise, it actually seems pretty accurate to the anime, I have to say. I mean, you have Staryu, Starmie, Horsey, Psyduck. The seal, uh, I mean, it was one of Misty's Pokemon, but that Pokemon just basically stayed back in the Cerulean Gym, the anime. It didn't really go with her on the journey. Um, Blastoise, I don't know where that came from. Uh, but basically all these Pokemon seem to be pushovers, so... Let's bring out... I don't want to bring out Zapdos because... I don't know... After the, after the first battle, I'm like, ugh, I don't know... That accuracy thing... Even though I... What was the Pokemon using, even? I don't think it was using Flash or anything that brings down my accuracy. It just kept missing with, like, Thunder for some reason. I don't know why, but I always found that was a, like a reoccurring thing with Zapdos, is that Zapdos always misses with his thunder most of the time. So, yeah, I guess that's a good way to stop you from spamming the legendary Pokemon here. I guess maybe that's just like game encoding, but I don't know. So, yeah. Zapdos has good stats, but terrible accuracy. The Cerulean Gym Leader and the Maiden of Water Pokemon. Let's see what the challenger has <laughs> oh, to Oh, Mirror I love how some of these water Pokemon, like... The water Pokemon that are uh, basically made to be in the water like Horsey here. I love how it's just floating. I always found that to be very, very interesting to me. Just like, it's so weird seeing a, a water Pokemon like Horsey float. It's not even in the water. There's water over here! Like, outside of the stage. But, whatever. It's a nitpick. It was pretty neat seeing these Pokemon in 3D. Even though I was pretty much used to it, I find it even more, like, magical for me to see these Pokemon in 3D, like, porting my Pokemon over to the game. Like I said before, I didn't really grow up with Pokemon the way that many other kids did. I just grew up with Pokemon playing Pokemon Snap and Pokemon Stadium. Ah, really? Don't do that. So, seeing Pokemon in 3D for me was like a normal thing. So, yeah. Aww. So not only are you paralyzed, you're like... Ugh. Oh, huh. You're gonna attack me with bubbles? Have fun with that. Aw, critical. No. Oh. I underestimated you. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not worthy. I'm, I'm sorry, Misty. You know, you know, if I was your age, I probably this would probably be the point where I suck up to you and ask you on a date. Because I know for certain Ash didn't. Am I a poker shipper? Uh, no. For this specific reason. I always kind of hated Ash. To be honest, even though that he is a very famous character, I'll give him that. You know, everyone recognizes who Ash is. It's just the fact that a lot of people point to Pikachu as being like the annoying uh, character of the show. 
And I always thought it was Ash being an annoying one. Why? Because he makes some of the dumbest choices ever. Wait, what are you doing? Oh no. Oh no. Wait, who do I have that can... Okay, this is a bit of a problem for me. Who do I have that can... Oh, I don't know. You know what? Um... Okay, this is probably gonna be like a... I'm probably gonna be pulling a Magneto here, but you know what? I'm just gonna let Raichu die. You know, the pawn must go before the king. The pawn must go before the king. It goes down after a good fight. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh! Um, yeah, I always thought Ash was the annoying character of the show. Because, like Lori from uh, Walking Dead, you know, Ash makes some of the stupidest choices, even for like a novice Pokemon trainer. Awww. I was gonna use Thunder Wave just to stop him from. This might be a problem. This might be a serious problem, to be honest. How is Blastoise faster than Magneton? Ah, uh, whatever. I'm probably just gonna end up letting Magneton die if he lives. Is it gonna take him on one hit? Oh yeah, yep, yeah, he's gonna die. Yep. I was gonna talk about Ash for a little bit, but oh, that happened. <laughs> Well, I gotta make some commentary in Let's Play. You know, after all, this is a turn-based game. Okay, Jolteon, you gotta be faster than Blastoise. You have to be. Did you have to... Uh, it might be a long shot, but I'm just gonna use Toxic. I just don't know what Jolteon does there. It looks like he's hocking up, hocking up a hairball. Oh, Misty, you're such a punk. Oh, <laughs> dude. Oh, uh, I might have to replay this. Might be the only time I have to edit any of this into. Ah, uh, he's gonna die. I know it. Uh, maybe not. Can you? Don't. Yes. Okay. Okay. You have to hit it. You have to. Ah, uh, come on. Come on. Come on, hit him, hit the mark, hit the mark, come on, come on, come on, yes, come on, die, 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 die. yes, oh my, oh, 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 that was close, I, I thought I was going to have to play this thing all over again, oh, Misty, I'll give you a promise, you have one speedy Blastoise, I have to be honest. Oh my lord. Oh. Oh, thank the heavens. Anyway, I was uh, going to talk about Ash for a second. So, uh, yeah, before I end the video off, the reason why I don't really like Ash is because, for the most part, I know that Ash is supposed to be like the expositionary character of the Pokemon universe, where he's just basically there, like, throughout the first season to introduce you to the world of Pokemon and how the world works as far as strategy goes and like you know all that sort of stuff but really he's so dumb and like you know even with that like ugh, like using a Pikachu against a Geodude like multiple times what do you think is gonna happen of course Geodude is gonna rub it off I mean I know not every episode is like that but even still like Ugh. He's just annoying at a lot of moments in the anime. And, uh... Yeah, not to mention the fact that every single female companion that he has had over the years, none of them, none of them has he ever kissed or had any, like, romantic interest in. Misty is probably the only one that's probably gotten the closest, really. I know, like, this is, like, uh, sort of a embarrassing thing to admit, but I actually listened a bit to the To Be A Master soundtrack, 
And there was this one song where Misty was like, uh, Misty singing in the CD, exposing her sort of mixed and true feelings about Ash. So, yeah, go ahead, ship Ash and Misty, I don't care. Just Ash is just a real annoyance to me. But, anyway, just wanted to get that point across that I just sort of hate Ash. Like I said, even though he's, you know, you know, his design is like the most popular and recognizable of any Pokemon trainer in the universe. Or, yeah, basically. You know, with the hat and the jacket and, you know, aside from Pikachu, Ash is like a recognizable like figurehead for Pokemon. His later, his later like outfits, I'm not entirely fond of because I don't know why he got rid of his hat that he cared especially about. Especially if like there's like an entire episode devoted to him trying to get his hat back. I don't know. Bring back the hat. Bring back these, uh, some of the original voice actors because the anime has indeed changed over the years. But anyway, I'll talk. I'll probably talk more about that in the next video. In case you haven't noticed, I am, like, recording these, like, straight up in a row. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna tackle the next gym, which is the Vermilion, uh, Vermilion City Gym. And who's the leader? Serge. Or Lieutenant Serge. He's just named Serge here. I don't know why. Anyway, we're gonna tackle Serge, the electric Pokemon trainer, in the next episode. I'll see you guys then.